Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And as you guys can see, we are in the new daily slash project. This is something that I've been wanting for the longest. And honestly, when it came to these cars, I just knew that there was no such thing as finding the perfect one. Um, I knew every every car that I found was gonna have its flaws, and it kind of came up to down to how much money I was willing to spend. So, with it being a daily, even though I'm, I don't drive that far anymore, I wanted something that was that I knew that, that was gonna be reliable and something that I could kind of work on here and there. So, I came across this car, and. It kind of fit in all the categories. I knew it had some things wrong cosmetically. And with a 95, you kind of expect something that, you know, is going to have, is, it'll have its issues. But to my knowledge, uh, I spoke with the guy and he was pretty much uh, straightforward about all the um, maintenance things that had been done to the car. So I feel, I feel comfortable with the car being reliable. Uh, which, you know, the AC, the basics, everything works. Uh, AC, heat, um, radio, suspension's not blown. The car isn't running uh, funky or anything like that. So that's pretty much the base on the car. And if you guys haven't noticed already, you aren't able to tell, I'm actually in by the year. So I'm in a uh, 95 325 IS. It's not an M3, but it looks like it. Um, you know, it looks... It, with the uh, E36, uh, it really didn't take much for your car to kind of look like an M3. So um, I'm not trying to claim it as one, but it's something that I'm really happy about and something that I look forward to working on. It does have some um, mechanical, not issues, which is, I mean, it's just common on these cars with it being a manual. So with that, if the car is a manual, it's something that I've been wanting. My original choice was an E30, but now my second one was an E36, and I'm glad that I found this one, which one, it's an Alpine white, two, it's a two-door. Um, I had an E36 four-door that I bought really cheap as a uh, side project. I ended up selling it. Um, there, I just, I didn't feel like putting money into that car. So with this one, it's got a good base to start with, and I'm just kind of going to, got a mosquito. I'm just going to continue with it, over time so hopefully i'll get this car to my liking cosmetic wise and make sure that everything is running perfectly before i show you guys the car um i just kind of want to go around with the basics on what the car needs the car for one most importantly needs a window a driver's side window and i have a feeling that it might need a motor and luckily those aren't that expensive so that's the first thing that i'm going to take care of on this car hopefully on this coming week and then second would be the clutch the car is slipping it's still drivable but it's slipping more than what i would have liked and um i mean the guy he told me before i went and got it and the car made a two hour drive back without an issue so it's not the end of the world but it's just kind of like a maintenance thing that you know a, car, a manual car would need so first would be the window then would be the clutch and also it needs an o2 sensor um the car runs perfect but it does have a check engine light um and he said it was because of the o2 sensor i'm not sure but i mean i'll double check it but other than that i mean the car ran perfectly and um other than that everything is just cosmetics uh it's just something that i'm gonna really look into and overall the car is in really good condition so I've been talking long enough and I know I'm boring you guys so let's go ahead and uh, we'll start with the we'll start with the inside. All right, so as you guys can see right off the bat, it's a whole black interior. And the guy he had the headliner redone. I'm not sure if you guys can see. So it was done and I, I'm not sure what kind of material it's 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 the same it feels the same like the same material that the F30 has so he got the pillars done in black the headliner black and um, the back the C pillars are done as well and the only little minor things would be to replace all the uh, the gray pieces back to black um, other than that I mean the, the seats are in good condition this one's in good condition. The carpet is clean. 
The only thing, the only issue is the passenger, I mean the driver's seat, as you guys can see, has been torn. So I'm gonna look into getting that fixed because this one actually doesn't really need it that bad. But then if I do that seat, then this one is going to be, I guess you'll be able to see the difference in uh, material. So hopefully I can get something figured out where I can get at least the two front seats done. Um, also, you guys know, if, or if you're not familiar with it, um, the E36 does happen to have some door panel issues. On the driver's side, the handle actually broke off. Um, so I gotta figure that issue out. So, as you guys can see, it does come with a uh, grip royal steering wheel. He gave me another steering wheel as well, which I'm eventually gonna be switching out. It's the, I believe it's the, I wanna say maybe the M3 steering wheel. It does have the blue, red, and white stitching, and it does come with the airbag. So to me, I think it looks a little, it'll look a little bit cleaner. But I'm gonna, I'm not selling this one anytime soon. I'll probably just hold on to it in case I ever decide to go back to it. It does have a short shifter, and I forgot, I can't think of the brand right off the top of my head, but I believe this is adjustable, so you can shorten or extend the length. It does have an aftermarket uh, CD player. He upgraded the speakers all around, which is nice because you guys know a lot of the older cars, the audio just sucks. So uh, that's pretty much for the interior. Now let's go ahead and uh, look at the exterior. All right, so here we have a full shot of the exterior. And I'll be honest with you guys, I'll point out all the defects that I can find like right off the bat. I just got the car today. Hopefully um, the video goes up today. If not, or tonight, if anything, it'll be up there tomorrow morning. Uh, but I would like to uh, get the plastic pieces that go here. I guess it's the plastic trim and maybe whatever goes in here. I believe that's for the brakes. So I want to get those replaced and then I do want to get this repainted back to white. It has a whole bunch of rock chips, so I'll get that fixed maybe kind of look into this little gap right here let's see also the car does have a OEM bra because there is a dent somewhere on the hood I believe it's somewhere in here but I'm just gonna leave it on there it's, it actually doesn't look that bad but I plan on leaving it there it comes with TR motorsport wheels I'm actually not too aware of what these are and from the looks of it, it actually has a stud conversion as well. It comes with Yokohama tires which are were practically, I wouldn't say new, but they're more than 60% left. He replaced the side trim with the M3 trim. It has a LTW um, high wing and it's not in perfect condition but i do like it this is kind of one of the things that i really liked about the uh the entire car overall and it's something that i've always wanted if i ever got a coupe so you guys can see it's got some imperfections and over here it's kind of starting to crack so i want to get all this fixed and get the whole wing uh, repainted also this it's got a little gap right here but it just needs a bolt at the bottom to kind of tighten it up again it has a custom exhaust, which I'll show you guys how it sounds. It actually sounds really good. Um, it's got the Depot um, clear tail lights. And as you guys saw earlier, it also has the corner lights and the headlights. So pretty much this car has the basic things that I would have done to an E36 if I would have gotten it completely stock. And like I mentioned, this is actually a good base to start with for me. And it, it's gonna make it fun. Uh, it's gonna bring content to the channel. And I like restoring things uh, to a certain point. If I had the money, obviously I would start from completely scratch um, and then just kind of redo everything on the car. But with this, I'm actually at a good starting point. And I don't, I don't know, it's just, it's gonna be fun. It's Alpine white and now that I have this, I know I had an Alpine white E46. I sort of 
don't want to change the color on the F30, which it, I'm, I was con really considering. But now that I have this, I would really like to keep both cars Alpine white. Just, I don't know, it's, I guess it's kind of cool. So yeah, guys, that's kind of a rough overview of the car. Um, I'm, like I mentioned already, I think I've already said it maybe once or twice. I'm pretty excited about the car, about the project. It's gonna be a clean daily that I actually enjoy driving. If you guys have any comments or if you're new to the channel and are interested in seeing how this build goes, uh, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button because there's gonna be more content. And I wanna make this car a example of what somebody can do that's short on money, that doesn't have the money to afford a brand new BMW. My car wasn't brand new, the F30, and um, but I know it's a little bit more up there when it comes to price the price range. So E36, if you look hard enough, you will be able to find a decent one, kind of like start off a, as a base. So I want to use this car as an example for anybody that wants to get into BMWs or kind of just wants to play around with one or if you're already familiar with them. E36 are fun cars to drive. Here's one last view of the car. The only thing I do want to change is eventually I'm probably going to raise the back. The back is a little too low to uh, my taste. And I know why a lot of people do this. They like to see the car even completely, but I'm just not a fan of having the back wheel tucked so much and not the front. I'd rather have that natural rake that BMW cars have. So eventually I plan on raising the rear. I do want to get the rear bumper repainted, if anything unless I can find the M3. Now the M3s and the regular 3 Series didn't really have that much of a difference besides the uh, rear diffuser. But if I can find an uh, actual OEM M3 bumper, I'll probably snatch it. And then I do want to get the newer M3 side skirts. Uh, I think it was maybe the 92s up to 95s came with the flat side skirts like this. And then I believe the 96 or maybe 97s had like a little weird, um, not weird, but it had like a little line going across which actually made it look more aggressive. So that's what I want to do. I want to get a front lip for the front bumper and get the bumper and the part where the kidneys are repainted. New side skirts, um, either just get the rear bumper repainted and maybe add the diffuser because I have seen those before. And that'll pre pretty much complete the exterior, get the spoiler fixed. And I do have to repaint the roof because the roof is flaking. So I'll look into that. I think that can be done. But after that, eventually I do want to get another set of wheels. Um, those aren't really my first choice when it comes to wheels for this car. So we'll, we'll look into it as, things, as time goes by and see kind of where we're at. But thank you so much for watching guys. This is gonna do it for today's video. I will include the winner of the giveaway at the end of this video. And if you like the new project, give it a thumbs up. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Alright guys, it's time to do the giveaway winner and as you guys can see I'm using the YouTube random comment picker so I'm just going to insert the video link right here. We are going to filter duplicate users. I don't think anybody dropped two comments but just in case then we do um, filter comments based on specific test uh, text which is going to be like I mentioned hashtag giveaway. All right, and we have 44 entries, and I know I had I had left a comment on a actually not a comment, but a um, I uploaded a picture on Instagram, and I said that the cutoff time was going to be Friday at 9 p.m. And unfortunately, some things happened. I was I wasn't able to record the video or pick the winner, but we're here. So the 
I guess the um, the giveaway ended up being extended a couple of days. But uh, so we're here now. We have everything that we need right here, and we are now going to pick the winner. And the winner is NYSE NYC. Congrats and. Thank you for everybody else that entered. I am planning on giving more um, or having more giveaways in the future. So stay tuned for that. But like always, thank you so much everybody for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.